Today I'm doing braised celery with herbs. That means we're going to simmer it in a liquid for a little while. Now most of the time when we have celery, it's in something else, but it's not the star of the meal. It's kind of like the bass clarinet in the band. But every once in a while, even the bass clarinet gets featured. So what I'm going to do here is I've got two and a half cups of a reduced sodium, low fat or fat free chicken broth and I brought it to a, a, a boil and to that I'm going to add about a fourth of a teaspoon salt and a fourth of a teaspoon of pepper and then I'm going to add half a cup of chopped onion. Now these are going to come to a simmer and if you like your onion a little bit softer you're going to let this part of it just simmer a little bit longer. Maybe go for five minutes with this uh, it's just so that, that that onion, if it's particularly if it's got a real sharp flavor, it, it mellows out a bit, but also it can it'll soften up on, on you. Uh, I'm also going to add some thyme leaves. I've got two teaspoons of dried thyme leaves and one teaspoon of dried rosemary leaves. And I want to crush these up a little bit because I want the flavors inside, the essential oils, to be able to start coming out a little bit sooner. We'll add that to it. And also I'm going to add um, about a tablespoon of chopped parsley. And this is going to just come to a boil. And as I said, how long you want it to boil is, is going to be totally dependent uh, on your preference. And to that we're going to add let me see, four and a half cups of celery. Now you notice I've cut this on a bias and that's going to help it cook faster. A lot of times when you have cooked celery, particularly when I was a kid and we go to grandma's house and she'd have cooked celery, it was something that was cooked for a very, very long time. Well, we're not aiming for that. We don't want it to become mushy and because we want it to cook a little bit faster, um, it, cutting it on the bias helps that speed up. So we're going to bring this back to a, a simmer and we're going to let it simmer for about five minutes. Now when I did this ahead of time, um, it, it tasted great, but it didn't look all that good. So what I'm going to add to it is about a half a cup of carrot that I've peeled and, and again cut on the bias, about the fourth of an inch thickness, the same way I did the celery. So if you do your celery a little thicker, do your carrot a little thicker as well. And just put that in and that adds some color to it. Adds a little bit of sweetness too, but mostly what we're going here, uh, looking for here is, is just to add some color. You could add something else to it too. If you had some uh, red bell peppers or other peppers and you wanted to uh, bring that in here, you could. The other thing about this is that when we serve this, we aren't going to want to use all the liquid, or we pro you probably won't want to use all the liquid, but this makes a great base for soup. So this will become the side dish, but the broth that we're going to end up with is also a, a great base for the weekend clean out the refrigerator soup, and if you have some of the celery left over, that works really well for it too. This is going to simmer about four to five minutes. Okay, we've had this going just a little while, four to five minutes, and you want to make sure that you retain some of the crispness, or most people will. If you want it to go longer, you can, but the general rule is, is keep some of that crispness. And look at this, this great dish we have. Now, celery is available mostly year-round, and we use it in other things, but we tend not to feature it on its own. But when you see something like that, you wonder why we don't. You can or not put on a little bit of butter on the top just to set it off a tad. And then highlight it with some other fresh herbs. I'm just going to put some more parsley around the side here just to give it a little bit more prettiness to it. The, the last thing I wanted to mention is that urban legend that celery has fewer calories. It takes more calories to digest it than it does that it actually contains. And that, in fact, is, is probably true. Uh, but it really is not going to offset the 350 calorie candy bar. So celery is great, but it's not that good. So I hope you'll try this. It's braised celery with herbs. For Oklahoma Gardening, this is Barbara Brown.